All right, if you have back and neck problem and pelvic floor issue, this is definitely not the way to do abdominals. I know, it's not entirely your fault as we have been teaching crunches and sit-ups for ages this way, but we do have more knowledge about the subject now and we know it's wrong. So as you can see, I'm pulling on my neck and moving my pelvis all over the place. That is putting pressure on my back, neck and pushing my pelvic floor up. Yes, you heard me. During crunches, there is a repetitive flexion and extension of the spine, which increase intra-abdominal pressure. So if your pelvic floor is weak, such as after pregnancy, childbirth or surgery, that's not going to help you. So what should we do? Well, simple. Just lie down on your back and we're going to do our Pilates fundamental. So first of all, we're going to work on breathing like I'm doing right now. So inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, using your abdominals as you're exhaling. Now, what you want to do, it's not to move your pelvis. So your pelvis is in neutral position. You've got a slight arch in your back. This is neutral. You're going to extend one leg away and bring it back. Then you can bring your knee up and we can do all these exercises, but in neutral position. You want to make sure your pelvis is not moving. And that's really the key. If you want a flat tummy, you need to be working on these deep abdominals.